and welcome. We're going to do an unboxing of the Great Western Trail by Alexander Pfister and um, one of the uh, very uh, exciting upcoming designers, Alexander Pfister, uh, Mombasa and uh, he's an award winning designer. He's won quite a few awards now and interestingly this gets the Dice Tower uh, Seal of Excellence approval. So um, by Pegasus Spiel and I do know that in America it's Stronghold Games releasing this isn't it so German and English in the box 12 plus 75 to 150 minutes how accurate that is I do not know two to four players a lot of buzz about this game uh, I think it's hard to get hold of in the UK at the moment I actually got this as a Christmas gift of uh, Tim in America uh, thank you Tim if you watch in on this um, good friend uh, of mine got me this game so the Great Western Trail, let's have a look what's under the hood. So first up, first off, the box is great, isn't it? I love the artwork on the box. Um, and it's got signifies quite a bit of the game. We've got some wigwams here, we've got uh, herding cattle, and this is a game not of gunfights and stuff with the cowboys, it's about proper cowboys managing castle uh, cattle and uh, getting them across the Great Western Trail to various cities in America. And we've got some railroad stuff going on as well. So awesome, let's dig in. Get the shrink off. Uh, let's have a look. Do love that box front and the artwork, fantastic. So we've got some punch board sheets in some very nice colours, oranges, yellows and purples and stuff. So. Uh, some coinage here. Um, you're going to have to le obviously learn the rules for the iconography, but it all looks good. I think in this game is deck building, and uh, I don't think so much resource management, but there's some clever stuff going on with the boards where you're actually starting with um, not many options, and as you take discs off your board, you you uncover more options, like in uh, Scythe or uh, Terra Mystica is one of the first that I played that, that does that sort of thing. So we've got another punch board here, punch board number two. Got the little wigwams here. Another punch board, punch board number three. There's quite a lot of tiles in this game, isn't there? Lovely, vibrant colours. Uh, another punch board, punch board number four. And that's the last of the punch boards. Some extra coinage and larger tiles on and stuff. All looks excellent, punches nice and easy. Nice rounded corners on the tokens. Centralised artwork, very good. Uh, now we get the rule book in German. So we'll toss that one aside, we won't be needing that. Uh, something about Camel Up, Stefan, Stefan Bowden. Oh, and uh, Gluck Off, that's the Cold Trilogy, isn't it? We do have one of those games. Right, here's the English rule book, let's have a look. Nice size, again that fantastic artwork. Um, it's America in the 19th century. Tells us the components, the cards, building tiles, objective cards, setup. That looks comprehensive for setup and it's numbered one, two, three, four, five, and so forth, which is really good. The object of the game, always handy for teaching new players. And then we can start in playing the game here on page six. Lots of uh, pictures and iconography there. There we go. Um, I think it's like at least a medium to heavy euro, I would think it is. Certainly a medium euro. There's quite a lot going on, so it looks a decent rule book. Not heard anything uh, untoward about the rule book. It's, I'll say it's getting a lot of buzz this game. So so uh, really pleased to, to have it. It's exceptionally nice that it was brought purchased as a gift for me. Oh, that's a lovely touch, isn't it? The back of the game board has got that amazing... Why wouldn't they put that art? I mean, that is some fantastic art there. Look at that. That is great, isn't it? Just on the reverse. Yeah. So it's a big game board. Very big. There we go. Let's give it a little bit of a back bend. There we are. 
Is that flat now? Yes, perfect. Love the uh, the game board. We've got a lot going on here, haven't we, where the tiles come out. And it depends on the players, two, three or four players. We have the towns at the top here, Kansas City, Topeka, never heard of it anyway, Wichita, Colorado Springs, of course, Santa Fe, uh, Albuquerque, El Paso, San Diego, Sacramento and San Francisco. Um, we've got train, the, the trains are going along the train track here. Lovely, isn't it? There's so much going on the board. Then we've got the Great, the, the Great Western Trail here that's going to go through and various tiles will come out on the board itself. Um, a lot, a lot going on. So let's have a look further into the box. Wooden components. Standard discs in player colours. And they are red, blue, yellow and white. So we've got white over the normal green, which is I think is a nice touch. So we've got the little trains there, and the, the cowboy figures are cool, aren't they? Really nice. And then the discs, oh, and some cubes as well. Some small 8mm cubes there. A um, couple of baggies to organise stuff as well that they're thrown in, which is a nice touch. Loads of score sheets there, and of course you can just use scrap paper, but a lot in the box, which is nice. Another baggie there. The player boards here. More baggies, plenty of baggies. I suppose there is a lot of tiles in the game. Uh, one, two, three, four player boards. So uh, these are a nice thick card, but they're not they're not the thick card that, um, as in game board style, as we sometimes get. But they're perfectly fine. And what I do find with stuff like this is. You know, you can get it to, to lie really flat. Sometimes when it's thicker card, they can be uh, a bit warp issues, but these are, going, are always going to lie nice and flat. And look again, they've got great artwork on the back. Are they all the, yeah, they're all the same, but they've got lovely artwork on the back. Now, see a bit of white on the corners. That's with square corners, isn't it? And what I always do with anything like this, I get a corner clipper, rounder, I should say, and it's a bit thicker than usual, but it should. Let's try it on both sides. They are a bit of a challenge these, to be honest. Ah, oh, there we go. Clipped. So you just use do both sides, so one side first. Ah, I've done it, managed to do it now. And corner around it. Just takes a little bit of extra. So let's go back to the other side. Once and through one side and clip off. Same there. And that's, yeah. So now the corner round, rounded off. They just don't get the dings once they're rounded off on the corners. So I shall do that to all four. Just a little tip and get these off eBay, uh, whatever. But that's, um, I can't remember what a diameter that one is, but this is, I've got a blue one that's larger, but this one does perfect. This is a nice size for rounding off player sheets. Let's have a look at these cards. It's all about the cows, isn't it? Different. Decent quality. Smooth, not linen finish, but uh, they're reasonable quality. Slim, quite a slim size. Uh, so we've got some Holston cows here. Brown Swiss. And they're all obviously worth different points and different victory points at the end of the game. Ayrshire's. West Highland. We actually... Uh, on our way to um, in Scotland, driving to where's that village, Donna? We drive to Portree. No portries on Sky Plockton. Plockton. Yeah. Plockton. Driving up the lanes to Plockton, and we had to. We went round a corner, and there was a big guy just stood there. He was like it was like a Mexican standoff, wasn't it? He just wouldn't move, would he? He was just stood right in the road, and in the in, in the end, a car came the way and bibbed him out of the way. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, Cow, the West Highland. Texas Longhorn there. And these are town cards, got San Francisco, or city cards or whatever. Very interesting. Lots of different points to be had off those cards there. And we've got another further deck of cards here. So all in all, of all them punch sheets and all them tokens, quite a lot of components to the game. So, got lovely artwork on, on all the stuff. So we've got the jerseys. Oh, Dutch belt. 
least you get to learn your cows this way. We've got the Black Angus there, the Guernsey, Jersey, the Dutch Belt again, Black Angus again, Guernsey again, Jersey, any different ones, Black Angus, there we go. And you can and own some Holstein here, or Holstein. And you can build up your deck and, and get different points in it. So apparently there's many, many different paths to victory. Um, and uh, it's pretty unique. You put buildings out and uh, I think you can use other people's buildings or pay for the cost and put hazards out and stuff. But there you go. With, with, um, it's quite a lot of buzz around this game. The Great Western Trail, great artwork, loads of tokens. Uh, good meaty uh, Euro game. Uh, steeped in theme um, from an award-winning designer Alexander Fister. That is the Great Western Trail. Thanks for watching.